Bonjour Genie Engineers, welcome to my Problem A Day series. In this video, we're going to identify all the zero force members on a given truss, and we're going to use the concept that we discussed in the previous video. Now, if you're for the first time and you just want to learn about engineering or just how to engineer a better life, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Now, let's get started. Oh yeah, everybody now. Okay guys, so we have this truss and we need to identify all the zero force members. I know, it's exciting. There's so many zero force members here. Uh, note here that I have concepts, these concepts, we discussed them in the previous video. So if you haven't watched it yet, I recommend that you do that first and then you can go ahead and jump into this one. Okay, so let's start with joint B. So at joint B, we have three members, right? So we're going to apply concept two because I have three members, BA, BC, and BJ, right? I have no external force. Now, BA and BC, they're on the same line of action, right? Same line. Now, BJ, it's not. So the non-collinear member is going to be zero. Remember, it's not collinear. That's the member that's going to be zero. So BJ is going to be zero. Now, the same thing we can apply to D. So at D, again, I have three members. D, C, D, E are collinear. They're on the same line of action. So D, N is not collinear. So it's going to be zero. Now let's look at J. I have J, A, J, K, same thing. Three members because this member is zero. So I only have left three members, right? Now J, A, and J, K are collinear. I have no external force or load. So JC is going to be zero. Okay, next thing, let's look at N. So I have this member is zero, correct? And now I have NE and NK are collinear. I have three members, right? CN, NE, and NK. CN is non-collinear, so this member is going to be zero. It's the same thing, guys. You just really, once you get it, it just really starts being tedious. Now let's look at joint C. So at C, I have CN is zero, CJ we identify as zero. I have three members left, CB, CD, and CK. Again, CK is the non-collinear member, so CK is going to be zero. Now let's look at K. Now I have CK is zero, so I have three members left, JK and KL, and KN. Now KN is non-collinear, so KN is going to be zero. Now, the last member is, let's look at N. So at N, I have no external forces, I have no external loads, right? So, and we identify CN to be zero, DN zero, and KN is zero. So NE is going to be zero because there is no loads here. And to reach equilibrium, NE is just going to be zero. Okay guys, so I hope by now you know how to identify all the zero force members. If you're not there yet, it's okay. Just make sure you do a lot of practice problems and you will eventually get it. And if you have any questions, don't forget to leave it in the comments below. Now, on the next video, we're going to actually calculate all the force members on a given truss with all the external loads. And I'm going to show you guys the fastest method to use so that you can solve any given trust. So make sure you hit the bell so you get notified when I release the video. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and make sure you share with your friends who might find it helpful. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you soon. À la prochaine. Oh yeah.